In this video, I'm going to look at loci. Now, there are three loci rules that really you should know about, and I'm going to go through these in turn in this video. So the first one is known as the locus of a point. So loci, spelt L-O-C-I, is the plural of locus, L-O-C-U-S. And if I'm looking at the locus of a point, what I'm saying is, uh, is well, a good analogy of it was that when I used to teach this, I used to teach in a school where I had um, a group of 30 students and we would go out into the playground and I would say, right, could everyone stand uh, five metres away from the basketball hoop? Or so, or the pole, so five metres away from that point. So when they did that, and they all had to be exactly five metres away, what would happen is that the 30 of them would construct themselves in a circle around that point. So if I'm looking at the locus of a point, I'm looking at a circle. So... Not the best instrument in the world, but it'll do. So around this point, okay, like so, constructs a circle. So if you're going to stand five metres away from a particular object, then you need to be somewhere on this circle. Okay, and that is what we call a locus of a point. It is a series of points around a particular point with a certain condition upon it. So that would be the locus of a point. Let's say now that um, we instead had the locus of a line. So let's say um, with this analogy, um, let's say that this is a fence and I have tied a sheep to the fence and it can, the actual tie on the actual fence can roam up and down the fence, okay? So it can be moved and so the sheep can drag itself along either end of this fence. So, for example, um, the sheep might be a case where it is here. Now this is going to be my very awful illustration of the sheep. Okay, where it's connected by this rope around its neck. And so it can travel a certain distance either side of this fence. Now there's nothing on the other side of the fence, so it can actually move all the way around it. And so it can go all the way around on both ends in a semicircle. So if this is five meters like before, then this is five meters also. So at any point, this is five meters. So it kind of makes this uh, it's kind of sausage shape. And so this is what we would call a locus of a line. Any part inside this area, the sheep can travel to, okay, and can get to. So that would be a locus of a line. So we've seen the locus of a point um, is a circle. The locus of a line looks similar to this. Now the other type of locus that we consider at GCSE Maths is when we say, well, well, if I take two points, like so, and then I say, well, um, let's go back to the analogy of uh, a big group, a class of 30 students, and then I say, right, I want you to stand equally distant from these two points, okay? 
Now, obviously, some people will immediately rush into the very center, okay? Will immediately rush into the very center, but not all of them can stand there. And so they start to spread themselves out. And it turns out that they start to spread themselves out on a line. Now, the way to actually draw this is using a pair of compasses, okay? This is my board, whiteboard version. Now, the way to do it, putting your sharp end of the point on the first point, and making an arc with pencil, okay, do it uh, there and down there, keeping the same distance, and keeping the same distance with your compasses on this end as well. Okay, and then making an arc down here. Let me draw those crosses in. So as long as you've made sure that the compasses haven't changed in size, drawing a line through your two crosses will draw you a locus between the two points and wherever you stand on this line you are exactly the same distance from both points. Okay? So that's how you would do it. So with the locus of a point, the locus of a line and the locus between two points this is how we do it. It's usually with a pair of compasses uh, to help you because ultimately it's either going to be a circle or it's going to be a rectangle with semicircles on the end or it's going to be a case where you need to do a bit of construction. But the actual construction theories are coming up in the videos next.